Hmm. Yeah, it's got to be tough for a lot of people who didn't plan in advance, didn't get those uh, maintenance yeah. chores done, and mm -hmm. here we are. And here we are. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's not, I was out there at about 11 this morning and could barely stand it. Yeah, it was almost 90 degrees yeah. by 11 o'clock, so it's just going to get hotter this afternoon, so now is not the time for the air conditioning units to go out, that's for sure. It's also hazy, so the first uh, couple things you'll notice right when you step outside the door today is how hazy it is and how warm it is. Check out the Skamania Lodge time lapse. This was early this morning where you can see that haze in the air, but watch what happens as we go through the morning hours into the afternoon. It really gets smoky, and that part of the state is going to see more smoke as it travels in from areas of Washington. So we have this Wednesday haze going on. It's pretty much from the wildfires uh, smoke that's coming down from British Columbia, and it's going to be oh, just kind of trapped in the atmosphere close to the surface, but it will also get a little bit higher as we go into the afternoon, and it will carry with the wind. These are really, really small smoke particles, smaller than what your hair, the, uh, how thin your hair is. So uh, these are going to be sticking around. You can actually see a little bit of that smoke. Uh, that thin gray here is that uh, veil of smoke that's hanging around through Washington and into areas of Oregon. And actually tomorrow, uh, east side of the state, areas like Pendleton is going to actually tap into some pretty uh, uh, strong uh, layer of smoke tomorrow. So something just to be ready for for you folks on the east side of the state. Air quality is a little bit lower today. So if you have asthma, you're going to really notice it this afternoon. So it's right around a moderate level. So if you have, uh, if you're sensitive to some of these issues, uh, you're going to feel it today. So just be ready for it. We're talking about 90s already. Lunchtime, 90. So we get a couple hours from now. Things are really going to warm up. Forest Grove at 91. Hillsborough, 94. I expect us to be about 10 degrees warmer than this as we get into the afternoon hours. It's 86 downtown Vancouver at 90 and PDX right around 89. Milwaukee, 92 degrees. Uh, we're going to definitely break into the triple digits. Our record for today is 96. I think we're going to beat that by about eight, uh, maybe more uh, than that. So the valley, we're calling 105, 83 for the coast, 106 for the gorge in the central section of the state at 102. So we are actually going to be hotter than probably areas of Madras and off to the east. Uh, now it's a good time to kind of talk about how warm your car gets because I know we all know this, but at 100 degrees, look at this, you go to 10 minutes, 20 minutes, these are just unbearable. So please be careful with the pets and the children in the cars. We have a lot of warnings. We have the excessive heat warning up and down the valley till tomorrow, or at least uh, Friday rather, and the heat advisory through areas of Pendleton and along the coast until Friday too. So that just shows you that this warm air is going to stick around. Tomorrow, likely a few degrees warmer. We're going to be uh, oh, we're going to be flirting with that all-time record at 107 for Portland. 98 on Friday, so we cool down a little bit. Uh, 92 might feel good on Saturday for the weekend. We actually cool down about uh, maybe 8 to 10 degrees for the weekend, but still very hot the next five days. So uh, we're all doing this together. We're all in the seat <coughs> together. So make sure you're checking on everybody. Mm, it's supposed to make us feel better. It's supposed yeah. to. Okay. <laughs> and a smile. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>